it had never really been played except for the you know 37 minutes that he showed up. I mean, it was pristine. I looked at it. I took his young Jeff Rokey. I took the valve oil cap off of his valve oil. Held, held the trombone up like this. Dropped it down. Dropped the valve oil cap down the bell. Shook it. <laughs> turned it over. Whipped it a couple times. Jam it into the crook. And then I just tucked it back in the case and back in the locker. And I went home. Okay, so then I came back for the concert that night. I, came, I got there early, as did a lot of students. They want to get there early. They want to be warmed up. You don't want to leave anything for chance. You want to have a little extra practice. You want to be comfortable with your surroundings. Everyone except little Timmy. We're all having a great rehearsal. Last, last you know, singing through things before the performance. In comes little Timmy. In comes little Timmy. Walks over sheepishly to the locker, takes out his instrument, and goes to play. And I tell the rest of the group, okay, everyone, else, warm up on your own. And I'm kind of watching little Timmy out of the corner of my eye. He puts his instrument together, and he goes to play. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks around, he looks at the instrument, looks down the barrel of the instrument. <laughs> Nothing. He comes over to me and he says, Mr. Ropke, my trombone won't play. And I go, try it. And I knew this thing wasn't going to play. <laughs> he goes again. And I look him in the eye and I go, Timmy, how about you just slide position along at the concert tonight, okay? And he goes, okay. And the concert went awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and little Timmy couldn't play a note. And the concert went great. And yeah, that's that's the story of little Timmy. And